here with Art Classes for Kids, and today I'm joined with Lily. You know, pretty much every day while school's out and while we're all like stuck at home, it's gonna be me and Lily because this is fun to do to make the time go by when school's out. Even though she's been getting a lot of homework from school, right? <laughs> so today's art project is our recycling project. And who's inspired by Lil? It is inspired by Dale Chihuly. Dale Chihuly is an American artist that lives up in Washington, and he is a glass blowing artist. And we are going to be making these out of water bottles. This is our inspiration from his glass flowers because at home I'm not gonna have you guys blowing glass, right? So this is what they look like, the real ones. Looks something like that. Now you might have seen them before at the Bellagio where here's a picture of Dale Chihuly next to those flowers. And um, they're there, they've been there since the hotel opened and they're beautiful and they're glass and light shines through them and they're awesome and we're gonna make something like that. So, you guys ready? What I need to know is if you have the supplies that we need. So, Lily, I'm gonna tell them the first supply and you unload the box and tell cool, them the others. Cool. The first supply you're gonna need are water bottles. So, these water bottles, they can be any size. Um, I have a bunch of them like this. Take the caps off them. And you'll need specifically eight water bottles. But if you don't have any water bottles, that's fine too. You could still do this project what with some plastic con with uh, some containers that you might have put that you might have had fruit in or yeah, vegetables fruit or vegetables. In. Those kind of clear yeah. containers that the lid hinges off. You can smash those. You could also smash if you have any clear plastic cups. But even if you don't have clear ones, you could tape together colored ones like those solo cups and then just paint on them, you know? There's other options, okay? So, but this is what we're going to recommend. And uh, what else do we have in the box, Lily? Well, uh, the other things that you will need. Sorry. Can you just move all this? Go ahead, okay. Are uh, some scissors, some paintbrushes, a jar of water, this one's not filled, well, but we but, have one filled. But this one is. Uh, we need some paper towels, some paint, some clear packing, pa packing, tape, packing, packing tape. tape. Was that like a combination no, of masking? No, no. Uh, and also some paper plates so you can put your paint on. And now, if you don't have these things, let me tell you a few things you could substitute. You can use scotch tape, but you're gonna use a lot of it. This is scotch tape. Yeah, but scotch like uh, the clear frosty oh, wrap your gift oh, in yeah. kind. Yeah. Okay, but if you have this, this is the best. You could also use masking tape. Um, you, for paint, acrylic's gonna be the best, but you might have some house paint you can use. And for a palette, you don't have to use a paper plate. You might have a plastic lid from something in your recycling that you can use. Uh, and everything else, I mean, scissors are scissors. You need some scissors, probably. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, let's move the paints out of the way. Those don't come up yet. Or the water, or the brushes. Okay, so all the paint supplies just push off to the side. Because all we're gonna need at first are going to be packing tape, the, um, scissors. the scissors, and um, the water bottles. So, Lily, you take a water bottle, and I'm gonna have you do a demonstration. It's gonna be a crazy one, but it'll work. So, the best thing to do is take off the lid, then cut off the labels, throw those aside, and then you can smash it with your hands, or Lily, stand up on the table and smash this one. You know how you see it? You don't wanna stand up on the table and smash it? Okay, because the camera's not gonna go down the floor with this, but you can just set them on the floor and step on it to get them flat. But you want to get them flat, nice and flat. So you want them like this, nice and flat. So we're going to start doing that. I want you to do that at home. And if it's your first time ever joining us in one of our live stream videos, I'm Kim, and my company's called Art Classes for Kids. I've been doing this for a long time, and we've been making these projects 
And this is one of our popular projects of the summer, our camp. We like to do a lot of recycling projects because it's smart to reduce things and reuse things so that we aren't filling our planet up with more trash. We can reuse the trash and it's saving the money with sculpting supplies. We've got, we've got our eight water bottles and I'm gonna let Lily have packing tape and I'm gonna have packing tape. We are teaming up to make one flower so that it can go a little quicker for you. But if uh, you wanna do it on your own, I think you can do it on your own. If you have a parent or a sibling around, because you're probably not home alone, um, then why don't you see if they wanna team up with you to make this flower. Also, if you yourself wanna make multiple flowers you could just watch this video a whole bunch of times yeah or after the first time you might memorize how to do it and you can make a whole bunch of flowers and even make like an arch of flowers or decorate your room with flowers it's up to you so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take four of them so push them away and we're gonna put one we're gonna make like a crisscross a, a cross or a T like that to start, More like an X, or, an, or if you turn it this way, X. it's an X. Whatever you want to do. Now you're going to get your first piece of tape. Okay, so using these tape cutters. If you don't have a tape cutter, that's what your scissors are for. And you're just going to keep. I like to put. Here's a tip. I like to put a piece of tape on my arm because it takes a lot of time to cut these. Yeah. And I get them all ready, and then I kind of attack my flower with tape. Okay. Or if you don't know how to cut uh, tape with a tape cutter, you can just use your scissors. Yeah, you can use scissors. So I'm going to take my first tape and I'm going to go across the lids. So you're going to go across the lids, and then she's going to go across the lids. And then you're and then gonna... I'm gonna, oh, now we're going to do this. Now we're going to go in between yeah. the lids, side to side. And I'm going to do it too. And then after we do this, you're going to flip it over. And repeat. And do the same thing. Okay, so we've done along the X, and then we've done kind of like we've made a square out of tape on top of it. Yeah, pretty much. And it looks like this. Now we're going to flip it over, and we're going to do it again. Okay, so I'm going to go across the tops. So you're doing the square kind of tape? I already did the other cross thing. Okay. okay. Yeah. So now we did the same to the back side and it looks just like this. All right, now we are ready to add the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth water bottle. All ready? You ready? I just do the same thing. Well, but watch. You Put it on top of it. Well, I, you know what I do is I see right where the two tapes meet and I tuck, I tuck it in like this. Oh. That's my. If I can get it in there, I tuck it in like that. Then and you then, just press the Or if you down. want your whole flower to be the same size, you can overlap it. Do you want, do you want to overlap it or make them alternating sizes? Uh, make them alternating. So we're gonna make them alternating. So we're gonna tuck it in here. Also, that means the second set of water bottles sticks out farther than the first. Also, my piece of tape got stuck together. Woo! So while you're doing this, you can uh, reinforce it with a piece of tape. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. So Lily, go ahead and do those two. See if you can get them in there. And now, did, Wait, I'm gonna put it on there to make it super secure. So I was showing you before, oh, all the way around. It's like a oh. spinning wheel. So, so you could either, um, you could have either overlapped them or had them out. So now that we have them out, some, are, some of these flower petals are longer than the others. And that's one look. So if you make about, you know, two or three water bottle flowers, you can make them each individually have their own looks and experiment with different designs. So you don't have to do this design, you can overlap. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of tape across and in between each one of the two. Because it's bottles. a little bit it's, Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, this one's, that's sticking. So let's go ahead and add 
the next layer of tape. Yeah. Oh, oh now you gotta go get the bottle because you keep flipping it. That's what you don't wanna do at home, okay? <laughs> because right now it's still loose. We haven't done our final taping. Okay, so Lily is finding our runaway water bottle, and here it is. Okay, so I'm getting it right in there, and I'm gonna reinforce it with a piece of tape, like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of tape between each one of the flower petals. Where? Between each one of the flower petals. Towards, yeah, towards the center. And I'm gonna try to do one of the designs that looks more like his flowers, which I will show you that information afterwards. Cool. Okay. Okay, let me give you another tip. If you have one of these tape cutters, when you're done pulling the tape and cutting it, don't push the tape back down. Because you know what happens? It'll, it'll you gotta stick. like use your fingernail and find the corner of it and it could take forever. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. Okay. Mine doesn't usually stick to this. Like, yours is like staying. Okay, yeah. Mine's that's... like broken. Mine's oh, let me see. Stuff. Let's trade. Let's trade. Okay. So... so I kind of have to fold the end of mine. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, keep keep doing tape. I got uh, the I got the uh, good tape cutter, but now I'll take this one. See, here I go. Digging for that wait, corner. Wait, did we already do all the sides? Uh, we that's the last one. Do that one. This one? Okay, so once you've done that to one side, what do you do? You flip it over. Flip it over. Make, make sure you don't have any runaway water bottles in it. Okay. If you do, go get them. Uh, and now repeat what you just did on the last one. So flip and repeat. Okay. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good, but you got another piece to do? There. Okay. Stick it the tape together. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, so now you have it looking like, the, oh my gosh, you know what? Before it's painted, it looks like a snowflake almost. You know, maybe we could just call them snowflakes and make them in the winter and cut little shapes out of them. Yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like so far, but I would love to make mine, let's see, look like, look more like this, where all the petals, you don't see the individual petals, it looks more like a poppy or something like that. Oh, so we're so gonna we take the tape all the way to the tape edges. All the way to the edges and make the curves inside. Yeah, so we're gonna take the tape all the way to the edges. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Just do the same thing that you've been doing, but go up to the edges. Yep. Give it a try. That's what I do. That's what you do. Okay. Yeah. And then after this, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. You are not kidding. You did get the bottom cutter. Okay. I'm going to put some on my arms now. Okay. Well, let's take the bottom. But make sure you go like this back and forth so that it has a waviness later. You can trim it too. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you like tape. I know in my art classes, oh my gosh, kids love tape. We go through a lot of tape. We buy tape by the case. <laughs> okay, Lily, let me get this. Okay, here we go. Just go like this direction. You're good. Okay, I think we're ready to flip it. So now it looks like this. 
and we're flipping it. Okay, same thing, other side. I'll do the edges, you do towards the side. Oh, here, I'll check you this down. The smoother you get the water bottles, the easier it's going to be to paint, too. tape it down because it's going to be easier to paint later. Because then you don't get underneath the bottle. show you really. Okay. So now we've gotten it to where we have tape way out there. I wonder if you can see that on the camera. But now what we're going to do is going to hold it up and right in between two bottles I'm going to put a piece of tape and pull it down. So that part's strong. Yeah and it gives it more of a curve. Yes. It helps it give so it more of a curve. Go there. And I'll do, I'll do a little of this one. Oh here I'll give you another place. No I'll do it. It also so that we're doing this also so that we give it we give it more support and that's stronger too, right? Yep. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna Wait, go to that means it, yeah. Tape this closed. And then, so go ahead okay. and clip up tape. So we're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna go over here. I think it was good with the different uh, shapes of water bottles. I, I wanna try this. Okay, so go ahead and tape those. That's like a round circle. I know. I mean, a round square. A rounded square. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It still looks like square. Well, I'm only going to do, I'm going to do this side of the wall. Well, you can cut some of this part, too. Okay. So you can adjust your water bottle thing after you've looked at it. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, 
Okay, let me help tape. Where can I tape? That I need a cut. It's like the sharp way. Oh, yeah, hey. you can just flip it like this. Oh. There you go. Okay, which other side needs to be taped? I think that this side right here. This little bottom right here came apart. Right here, this bottom. Okay, so you need a scrap. Now it looks a little more like this. So it's your choice. And if you want to bend it in a little, then I smash it in a little bit. Like this. Now it's starting to look more like a kiwi flower. I think that's good. Now we're ready to paint. Okay? I think we're looking good. We are ready to paint. So let's move our tape. Let's move our scissors. And now you're gonna get your palette and you're gonna get some brushes. Oh, actually, let me do one thing, Lily. If you have a tablecloth and you don't want it to get messed up, and if you have clothes on that you don't want to get messed up, you should cover it with something that's disposable because the paint isn't coming out. So, what we're doing is we're gonna throw a piece of red paper that was a scrap that we had over right like this. There we go, and... Or if you don't have something like this... Maybe you, you have an old sheet that's, or an old something that's stained. Like a tarp or something. Yeah, or you know what I always use? I use like, like garbage bags. I just lay those out. We'll go ahead and set this here so they can still see what we're doing. Or, okay. if you're working so like, or if you're working like on a kitchen counter or something, you can just put like a pip down, paper about, towels down or something. How about we try to make this flower? It's yellow with like orange and red. No, and it's a like a, that's a red. Okay. So let's, on our palette, let's squirt out yellow, orange, and, and red. These stripes here are like alternating from like orange and yellow, orange and yellow. Okay, can you choose those colors for us, Lily? And I'll take some paper towels. Okay. Here's orange, yellow, and red. Okay. That's all I need. Okay, squirt those in our paper palette. I'll get some too. Red. There. Here, I'll get you some yellow too. We're gonna start with our lightest color first. And don't get too much pink, cause. We might not use much of okay. some of this. Okay. Wait. Also, a little goes a long way, so don't use too much paint. So I'm going to be starting with yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some yellow lines like this on each petal to start. So I'm making three big lines. I'll do Actually, it on this side. Okay. And my outside top line is going to connect. Okay, let's hold it up as we do it. Like that, there you go. So I'll do the outline, how's that? Okay. And also, my paintbrush is a bit stiff, so if some of your paintbrushes are like hard and stiff, what should we do? Put it in the water? Well, yeah, or just take it in your hands and bend it. Yeah. It still works to paint. Do you want to trade brushes with me? No, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I can paint with anything. No, this is good. I can paint with a stick from the yard, Lily. Like. Yeah. So you're kind of making it like a Wi-Fi. Like, a so Wi-Fi lines? It kind of looks like yeah, Wi-Fi. Because you're going from a big leg lines to like smaller lines. Wait, are these going to be uh, touching also? No, just the outside one. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll let you do the other ones. But I'll, I'll do this one right here. And then we're going to keep the inside do, do clear. Do this one smaller. We're going to keep the inside clear because we're going to fill that with red. Okay, so wipe out your brush. Remember, you don't have to use the colors we chose. I want you to pick the colors that you yeah. like. The flower colors you like. So next, let's do orange. So the orange... We're all... Well, the orange... Wait, is, we're... 
like yeah. straight lines. Yeah, they're in between of, lines. Instead of like. Well, they're kind of, kind of fuzzy, like so I do this. I go like this. I just go like. Yeah. And then. Uh, and then go like this. It was like in between or something. The orange is yeah. like. Yeah, so we're going to do our orange like that. You see the line? It's cool. Okay. okay. So paint, paint, paint. And it's okay if you run out of uh, paint. You could either continue with the paint and like just let it like run out or whatever, or you could get more paint. Okay, we've got that last section. Alrighty. Then we're gonna do our edge orange. So we're going all the way to our outer edge, Lily, and just make it go like this. Just brush yeah. it on. And this project is a pretty fast project, so you could do it in your own time. You don't have to do, do it. Do as fast as us. But okay. also, yeah. I want to see people make more than one. But you might be doing your art and watching us in a group. We would love to see the photos of how your flowers turned out. So what do they do, Lily, if they want to send us a photo? You can you can email us at kidmidartclassforkids.com with, um, your, with <laughs> your picture or you can uh, or you can post on Instagram your photo and tag us with our classforkids.com or not our classforkids.com with our classforkids <laughs> and hopefully we see your photo. Yeah, we have been getting tons of photos. Yes, so, but we love, love seeing them. them. So, okay, so now we're doing the center. Yeah. The center is our red. Okay, Lily, you want to just yeah. conquer the center? Let me just scoot just. it out here just a little more. Right in that clear spot. And then maybe we can fade it out or something. Okay, like just that. like just to do some little dots. But don't overdo it because we are just about done. Because we want to be able to see through some spots. Because some spots will have. Um, Okay, I'm gonna put, okay, now this is gonna sound crazy, but, but well, I'm gonna add some purple to the center to have a dark color in the center. Yeah, so it, in the center it was kind of dark. So I'm taking this purple and or I'm Or you can gonna... do your smaller brush. That's all right, it's like this. So, hold on. Your smaller brush. And we're good. So, this so is what our This is how our turned like. out. Ta-da! Let me go zoom in. Zoom in. And hey, I think it gets the essence of a blown glass. Yeah. Dear so flower. you hey, could you know do it. Cool? Yeah. Make a ton of them and yeah. hang them from the ceiling in your room. Yeah. That'd be you could cool. do your flower like how we did, like this. Or, or you can make it like this. Woo! Do it however you want. It's your flower. So, Lily, tell them um, uh, what they can do. And I, I should tell you guys about what we're doing tomorrow. So let yes. me go grab that project. So, oh yeah, <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification button so you know when all of our new live streams are coming up. So tomorrow's yeah, project, so tomorrow's project is, a drawing. is a drawing. We're gonna be doing this Yayoi Kusama. Inspired flower. Flower, we're doing flowers today. Yeah. We're doing flowers Sorry. tomorrow. Flowers two days in a row, but we love this artist. Yes. She does everything with polka dots. And, and she tomorrow, puts like an eye shape in the middle of the yeah. flower. And tomorrow's project also, we would let, we would uh, we would recommend this for kids eight years old and over. But, it's a little detailed. Yes, it's a little detailed. And, and what's the and price today? It's a little today? hard. But if you do, if you, those little kids who are up for a challenge and they want to do this project, you guys can do it too. So, what so supplies you'll need for this are some, is a pencil, white paper, and, and some, some colored, colored pencils. pencils. And also we put this uh, black cardboard foam board. or mm -hmm. foam board piece on the back of it. You don't have to do that. We just made it. We just, we just put all it on there it, to make it look studio. fancier. Anyway, yeah. we would love it if you join us again tomorrow. We hope you're enjoying our live stream videos. We're going to be making more and more and more. 
tomorrow on Thursday, uh, Lily will be joining me again. We hope we'll be you're... joining you every day from now on. <laughs> yeah, at least while you're at home. So I hope your flower turned out as awesome as ours, and we are dying to see it. Uh, keep watching us. We thank you for yes. joining, and keep, keep making, making cool, cool art. art.